Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. This is a Bayliner 288 Flybridge, powered by a Mercruiser 4.2 litre, 250 horsepower stern drive diesel engine. It's an absolutely fabulous boat. It's the highest spec 288 that I've ever sold. It has everything on it that you could want. Bow thruster, heating, teak decks, camper covers, recently replaced Raymarine electronics at the upper and lower helms, gas cooking facilities, TV DVD player, you name it, this boat has it. So it has nice black boot stripe with silver accents. It has a black PVC rub rail insert that complements the black windows very nicely. And it's also got a full set of black camper canvas covers. Gel coat is in beautiful condition all the way around. So all the way down along the starboard side, the hull is in great Bow shape. Bow rails and graphics are all in great shape down this side as well. All the way back. I appreciate that you maybe can't see very much here, but it's all in good condition. Bailing our badge here. And then the swim platform is in good condition all the way around also. Got this little folding two-step bathing ladder. The hull bottom is also in great shape. There is a bow thruster on this boat, especially with a big boat like this and a single engine. You, you do really want that bow thruster if at all possible. So that's in good shape. The, the bottom has recently been anti-foiled in black as well. The boat is powered by a Mercruiser single 4.2 litre uh, diesel engine, 250 horsepower, and it's matched up to this Bravo 3 drive. Twin prop drive, so counter rotating propellers for extra, you know, uh, sort of hole shot getting the boat on plane. They're 22 inch pitch props, they're in great condition. The boat has just been serviced, fully serviced, all the oils and filters have been done. Boarding the boat is a breeze from the port or starboard side with this huge big swim platform, full width of the boat. It's probably about, I don't know, two or three feet deep. Lockable transom gate, so you can keep pets and kids inside the boat. And then once you're in here, got a huge big open plan cockpit. We've got a sliding door giving us access into the saloon, the main saloon, and then a little ladder, four-step ladder, up onto the flybridge. These covers were fitted to the boat uh, in around about 2019, and it's a full set of camper canvas covers. So you've got the forward bimini section, so it's a roof up on the flybridge. There's side panels and a front panel, so you can fully enclose the flybridge area. Then we've got this rear roof extension that comes off the rear of the radar arch. And there's also full wraparound panels here. So you can totally enclose this entire area. This whole foredeck area is all molded non-skid, so it's safe to move around. Got nice big anchor locker, room for lines and fenders. There's a hose in there as well. And uh, yeah, nice stainless steel chafe plate, so the anchor doesn't mark, mark the hull. It's green. Triple wipers on the windscreens, big pantograph wipers. So the aft cockpit's all laid in teak. This is, uh, this teak, we actually installed this teak. It's uh, weathered is the name of it. So it's not the standard flexi teak. It's like a weathered color, which is a wee bit more natural looking. This is your main battery isolator switch. There's storage space in here. There's the bung for the boat actually in there. So you can put in lines and fenders and stuff if you like. And then this is the little gas locker area as well. We vented gas lockers. There's a lockable sliding door on the way in. There's covers for that door as well. And there's screen wraps for the saloon windows so you can totally darken down the cabin at nighttime whenever you're sleeping on board. Really nice layout. It's all open plan. It's sort of a family boat. So you've got a huge big dinette on the port side elevated. So whenever you're sitting at the dinette, you can see out the windows. You've got a nice large galley along the starboard side. Lower helm station in front of that. You've got a forward V-berth double up front and you've got another small double cabin in here. This table drops down to make that into a third double berth, so you can sleep up to six people in the cabin, and then your head's compartment aft on the starboard side. So let's start by taking a look at the galley. Huge bit of galley countertop space here for preparing food. This is the uh, gas oven. So gas oven, gas hob, gas oven which is great so you've got cooking facilities no matter where you are huge big sink pressurized hot and cold water we've got a flat screen tv dvd player with a tv antenna up on the radar arch this is a large isotherm fridge that was replaced in recent years as well wave even actually on this one over on the port side then we have this huge dinette arrangement so big table two table legs so it's nice and solid there's room here for probably four or five adults to sit around the table and whenever you climb up here, this is your eye level. So you're sitting looking out, out the window. As I said, this table drops down and sits at this level. And there's a filler cushion goes on top of it. So you can make that up into a double bed as well at nighttime. And then up forward, we have this 
V Bertha race. This is a, a full size double. Big Bertha actually. Let's so little forward cupboard. It now houses the bow thruster with dedicated bow thruster battery and isolator switch for the bow thruster. So that's where you turn your thruster and everything on. Else is working. So you've got the curtains for the back window. You've got the, the, the curtain there. You can screen this area off. Um, this then is a double double berth. So nice wee seat here. And down in here is a, is a double bed. It's full of stuff at the minute. We've got the covers in here. The camera covers are in here. Boat hook, the filler cushion for the dinette and also the ray dome. This is the actual Raymarine ray dome because we had to remove that to get the boat in our showroom door. But anyway, this is a nice big cabin. Um, you know, nice big bed for a couple of kids, ideally suited. Decent sized heads compartment. Jabs go, pump out toilet. And the tap pulls out, works as a shower head. We vanity mirror there, with storage in behind. Full shower compartment, uh, lined and drained, uh, and a very good heads compartment. So let's look at the lower helm station. This is the type of boat that you probably will drive mainly from the flybridge. We'll hop up here and show you what we've got. The, the, the good thing about this boat is that all of the electronics on this thing are repeated at both helm stations. So the main electronics of this new Raymarine Axiom 9 chart plotter from Fishfinder. Um, there's also an older Garmin GPS map 451S which was left in, in position just as an extra sort of backup. And then there's a new Icom VHF radio here as well. So we've got our Raymarine switched on here now. Um, so you get chart, chart plotter, radar on this one as well. We've seen the ray dome back there. Um, looks like it has full charts of UK and Ireland loaded in here as well. Fish finder functionality, but touch green, very fast response. This is a really nice chart plotter. And um, we've also got this older uh, Garmin then as well. Just trying to find its position now at the minute, but we're in the shed here, so that'll take a wee while. So two chart plotters down at the lower helm, all your instruments. So you've got uh, taco, temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, voltmeter fuel gauge. There we go, bow thruster. That's fantastic for berthing this boat. Trim. Separate throttle and shift controls on this engine. So you shift in and out, and then this is your throttle controls. So that's that's uh, takes a wee bit of getting used to that, but it, I quite like it actually. Once you get used to it, it is, it is very easy to use. You got stereo here as well. Sony stereo. Let's show you how this works. Just confirm that everything's working here properly. So let's head up to the upper helm station now. Four steps up to the flybridge. And uh, for a 28 foot or 30 foot boat, this is a fabulous flybridge. You've got a central helm station, which is slightly offset to starboard, but it's great for, give, for giving good visibility all the way around the boat. And then a nice little L-shaped wraparound seat. And whenever you're sitting in the helm seat here, great visibility forward as well. So let's run you through. Basically, we've got all the same equipment up here as we do at the lower helm. Raymarine Axiom 9 chart plotter. This There's is another ICOM VHF radio. So you have the safety of two radios. Bow thruster controls up here as well. And then all your engine instruments are repeated up here as well. Fuel gauge, volts, speedo, RPM, oil pressure, temperature, and there's a digital depth sounder here as well. Again, you've got your twin throttle and shift controls. It's not a speed machine by any stretch of the imagination, but it will do just about 30 miles an hour, but it's most comfortable cruising or in around like 20 miles an hour. Um, it's a big boat powered by a single engine. It's gonna be very fuel efficient with that single 250 horsepower, 4.2 liter mercury cruiser. They've got a fabulous reputation for reliability. This one has just been fully serviced and has been really well looked after throughout its life. So with the hatches up, we can get a good look around the engine bay and the mechanical bits and bobs. This is a battery bank in here on the port side. And this is our 4.2 liter mercury cruiser. Two D-tronic 250 horsepower stern drive engine. Very nice condition, very well serviced, fully serviced, ready to go. Close cooling on this as well. Storage for fenders over there. All those fenders with fender socks and lines and everything are all going with the boat. This boat also has a complete paperwork file. 
very extensive history for you. We've all the original handbooks and owner's manuals. We have the original uh, builder certificate and original service invoice, or sorry, not service invoice, the original sales invoice with showing the VAT paid. This boat was originally supplied by uh, Carry Craft, who were the Northern Ireland bait liner dealers, and it spent its entire life in, uh, in Northern Ireland. So it has, it therefore has freedom of movement throughout Ireland or the UK. So if you're interested in this Bayliner 288 and you'd like to find out more about it, then please sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com. All you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our site at gulfstreamboatsales.com and you can get VIP access, which is completely free. Once you've signed up, then navigate back to the Bayliner 288 page and you can watch the full length video tour where I go through the boat in a lot more detail, show you around all the storage compartments, all the lockers, give you a really good look around the engine bay, go through all the equipment on it and just hopefully give you a better idea of the condition that the boat's in, what it's all about and hopefully help you to figure out whether it might be the right boat for you. So that's sign up for VIP access at gulfstreamboatsales.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you find it useful.